I make this for you. 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 Did you know Big Sam Presents is available on iHeartRadio? That's right. You can put iHeartRadio in your internet browser and or download the app and look up Big Sam Presents with the Z at the end of Presents and you will be able to listen to my podcast now available streaming on iHeartRadio. Take your ass to iHeartRadio and subscribe to my damn podcast. I appreciate you, baby. I make this for you. Hi, would you like to sponsor this show? You have the ability to sponsor Big Sam Presents Raw and or Shit Talk. I don't give a goddamn. You could pay me $100 a month or $50 a week or $250 every two weeks. Regardless. It don't even matter. If you want to sponsor this show, you can. Let me know. I'm Big Sam, and you got the opportunity to sponsor this show. This show, goddammit, this one. Are you not entertained? Fuck you, because I wasn't trying to entertain you. Bye, bitches. I make this for you. Is Big Sam presents Raw. Shout out Big Sam Presents with a Z. Mad respect for the veterans. And you're damn right. Keep it diverse until they get triggered. $15, little man. Put that shit in my hand. From New York to Japan. Stay with the band. Shout out. Keep listening to Big Sam's. Rah! I make this for you. Big Sam presents Raw. Mm. Hey, girl. I just want to lick your armpits. Can I lay my head? On your side, boo. I wanna li- 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 lick your armpit. Li- 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 Flick of that little deodorant rock. Yeah. Let me lick it, let me lick it, let me lick your armpits. (laughs) If you use spray on deodorant, it's okay. Just wipe that shit with a baby wipe. Then put on some of that deodorant with that white powdery substance. And if your armpits are hairy, that makes it more better. I'm going to put the hairs in between my teeth and use it as flower holes. Yeah. I want to lick your armpits, girl. Let me lick your armpits, girl. Tonight is the night. I'm 
I'ma lick you so right. Lick, 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 lick. Lick, 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 lick. You know that little dip part when you hold your arm at like a 90 degree angle. I'ma flick of my tongue in there. I'ma tickle you. But I'ma hold your arm up so you can't come. You can't bring that shit down. I just want to lick your armpit, baby. Lick on your armpits. I make this for you. Is Big Sam presents Raw. What up, motherfucker? How are you doing? Are you okay? Okay. What up, everybody? It's your homie, Big Sam. We back with another episode of Big Sam Presents Raw. Now, look here. I know two days ago, we was on the live stream via... YouTube and Facebook, and I announced, declared, and decreed unto you that every morning we will be live streaming a podcast show. Unfortunately, God damn it. Now, I should say unfortunately, but now, my guest went out of town. It's going to be gone for the rest of the week. My co host is gone for the rest of the week. So, We'll pick it back up when that motherfucker get back. It's hard. It has been a little challenging finding people to do to podcast with because people like it's cool. I mean, I understand we we look at things differently. Yeah, you know, I get it. It's just weird. People look at this as if they have to they have to be a certain thing. And they don't want to just be themselves and or people are just uncomfortable being themselves. So it's been very, very challenging to be able to find a consistent co-host and or people to like kick it with and talk it to and talk to. Because, again, people feel like they got to put on this show and this persona and um, <clears throat> it just it get, it's, it just don't last too long, man. You know, it's it's not a matter of like. Anyway, we ain't coming for that shit. We supposed to be goddamn laughing on today. And that shit ain't funny. What the fuck I was just talking about. But, God damn it! if this is your first time listening, we are about to hijack some shiznit off of the ubis of the tubis. Come on, somebody. How many of you believe in... Ubis of the Tubis. Come on, somebody. We is talking about the YouTube. Hello, Smilla! so hard I wanted the nigga on the hook to come out with an album that nigga was singing in water barrel ball <laughs> on the highway that's the last shit you want to do in Houston fuck around and miss your goddamn exit you gotta drive to Dallas and turn around and the sign know you miss your exit that bitch will tell you next exit 7.9 miles what the fuck going on in Texas Y'all stingy as hell out here, charging niggas to ride on the interstate. (laughs) (laughs) Fuck around and get caught up in traffic and can't get over fast enough. Now you owe the state of Texas $31. I don't know who the fuck they gonna send my ticket to. I'm in a rental car. (laughs) Fuck that shit. We in here tonight. Shout out to all the niggas at the top in VIP, sitting next to white women. I see you. 
I don't know how niggas do that. <laughs> Fuck with white women. It'd be all good to the police boy you over, go right to her side. Ma'am, are you okay? I'm like, ooh, shit. <laughs> you don't know if this bitch kidnapped me or not. <laughs> Where the single ladies at tonight? Are y'all the ones with these hats? Oh, I thought y'all was just wearing hats tonight. <laughs> what happened? Somebody passed? You bet you left a viewing. Come on, let's go down to the show. <laughs> they gone now. Ain't nothing we can do. <laughs> what y'all do? Y'all just wear hats and shit? <laughs> you look expensive. Are those real diamonds? Or just... You, you know, bitch. That should be worth $18 million if those were real diamonds. <laughs> she might be. I don't know. You seen them? I take a chance on it. My expectation low. I just want a bitch who can stay wet with the fan on. I don't uh, give a fuck. I'm so sick of these women blaming drag coochie on us. You been with this pussy all day. Why it don't get wet? I know your pussy terrible. It don't get wet in the shower. This is stupid. Oh, that's too rough. Let me stop. I didn't know. I thought we were in Houston, Texas. My bad. Go ahead. I'm not going to listen to a nigga sitting by himself. <laughs> Was that you? Where your people at, bro? You good? You itching and shit, you all right? Nobody want to sit by an itching there, nigga. I'm just fucking with you. know, we, I'm glad you came, bro. We can't pull all these hoes. Somebody here like you. Hey, what's up with that Impala, Carlos? Say what? What's up with that Impala? Did this nigga just try to buy my car at the show? <laughs> man, this some hood ass shit, bro. Man, what's up with that Chevy, man? Sell me that motherfucker. I see you working this shit. Ha ha, but what's up with it? You got the title with you? God damn. You You got money like that? Man. Which one you want? You know I got three of them bitches. <laughs> I'm not stunned. I'm just letting that nigga know I do have three of them. He has an option. Money talk, bullshit walks. I know what they sell them at. If you want mine, I sell it to you, but it's a little tax on it because it's mine. It works on that. I like this audience. Bro, look at these cool ass high ass niggas in here laughing late. I see the high motherfuckers in here laughing late. <laughs> I fuck with little buddy. Why do you look uncomfortable as fuck, dude? You all right? Who you in here with? You know them people sitting next to you? You don't know the other one? That's why you nervous. He cool? <laughs> Big nigga, disrespect. He got his elbow in your chest, my nigga. Hey, get up off that little white boy like that. He can't tell you, my nigga. I don't know what you gonna do. Nigga, you bad building hell, boy. Big at the top, shoulder having that. That nigga walk like one of them auntie. Speaking of the aunties, are the older ladies in here tonight? <laughs> older? I'm talking about 50. Your kid's grown. You got gray hair on your pussy. What? Say what, ma'am? What? Your kid's sleep? How late can you be out? <laughs> huh? You good? Well, why would you interrupt my fucking solicit? See, that's why niggas don't have nothing. Bitches just jump up in the wrong time. I would fuck, but no, nah, my kids sleep. That's stupid. That's a terrible reason not to get me some pussy. You fuck worse than me. This is my show. You know that, right? You see me at work. I'm work fucking. I'm employed. This dick come with benefits. I'm a grown man. I'm 35. I be fucking bitches fixing their bathroom. <laughs> Get your brakes fixed, get that check engine light off, oil change, get them kids in bed by 8.30. They need a male figure in that house. Go to bed! That scared the fuck out of them. See, look at the women. Oh, he a good daddy. You see that? This pussy jump. You saw the clip, the clip jump. Look, she had to fix her hair. Oh, Lord, this a real man. I thought he was up there playing. He is a father. That is somebody's daddy. Fellas, you ain't shit if you fucking on them kids' mama and you won't take that little boy with you to the barbershop. 
I'm just gonna go and tell you, it's 2008. Don't shake your head, you could have been took him with your gold teeth. Successful ass nigga, got three different haircuts. Got a fade, some shit on the side, and a mohawk. Take that little boy with you. Hey man, I feel you, it ain't them kids, it's they mama that's hard to deal with. You ever wanna just switch baby mamas? You ever be fucking another nigga baby mama? Like, damn, ooh, I wish I would've nutted in you first. <laughs> That was a joke for real niggas. I thought y'all was in here. You scared to laugh because you with your new bitch. I get it. <laughs> she don't know the real you. Come on, bro. Stop faking this shit. <laughs> Tell you ever get mad at your side bitch because she asked you to eat her pussy? <laughs> like, man, I am in a relationship. I made this for you. These beats are out disrespect my lady out here just eating pussy like that. I made this for you. <laughs> Oh shit! Niggas were laughing silently. Y'all ain't shit. That's why they don't respect us no goddamn more. See, that's why they make me go laugh. Cause I talk the most shit. How you know? But how you know you love me? But how you know? Like, what made you say I love this nigga? How you know? <laughs> you love me? What's your name? Samantha. You like me? Cause like, if I could have a little haircut, I believe you like bitches too. <laughs> you like niggas for real? I fuck you, Miss Elliot. I do. <laughs> she got on Adidas like she ready to hit the. Can I work it? Let me work it. I pull the pants down, flip it, and reverse it. It's scary for me. I was just playing some math. I, I like you too. Thank you for the love. I don't know at what point we fell in love. <laughs> but now that I know that you love me, I have a respect for you because I know you like real niggas who eat pussy with the light on. <laughs> Ladies, don't give up on us yet. It's 2019. The shit that made a full circus. Real niggas is back out here. A lot of niggas that got out of jail quit eating. I make this for you. <laughs> Niggas out here drinking water, being good I ain't been in jail, but goddammit, I'm a real nigga out here. We screech out it. See how quiet it got? Because that ain't no joke. Niggas want that. No, they don't. If you out here eating pussy with your ass in the air, you don't deserve none. Lay down. I make this for you. That is some freak. See, that's the type of shit that's pushing these women to be extra freaky, and didn't nobody ask for that shit. One girl gonna reach under my legs and over my thighs and scoop me down. Don't fucking scoop me down. That's I make this for you. Them. You see how all the little niggas got quiet because they done been scooted down before? Look at the big niggas. I wish a bitch would scoop me down. I make this for you. You're yeah, holding the full head. I'm gonna be out here scooting niggas down. I'm somebody's father. Respect me. We in here tonight, bro. We about to turn up. This is the 85 South Show. If you don't know who this podcast is for, nigga, I'm about to tell you. This podcast right here is for niggas who got an old Chevy in their backyard with a dog chained to that motherfucker. Dog ain't never been in the house before. This podcast is for real niggas who keep up with time in a different fashion. Niggas don't know how to keep up with days and months. We keep up with time like, nigga, I had got out in 07. <laughs> Man, when we was staying down the street, then my brother got killed in 09, so shit, it was about 010. <laughs> yeah. This podcast right here is for ladies who got a bunch of medicine in the cabinet. Niggas don't know what you want. We don't know if this bitch crazy or just got a yeast infection. <laughs> it's probably both. It's probably both. <laughs> Cause the antidepressants be given of the yeast infection. You see how that shit ran? It's got to be true. This scientific. This podcast right here for all the ladies who hold that titty while you suck it. Cause she care about a nigga. <laughs> I 
I make this for you. Podcast for real niggas who don't never get butt naked. You just leave your shirt on, be naked from the waist down. I make this for With you. Put a some socks on, because you don't trust nobody. Real niggas ain't getting butt naked for nothing, really. We look around and see who in the house before we get in the shower. Fuck that I make this shit. for you. Can't trust nothing out here. Much love to all the ladies that's out here giving niggas consent. That went over y'all head. Ain't nothing like some good consent. I make this Send a for titty you. to my phone. Send a titty to my phone. To all the ladies who's scared to send a picture of that pussy because it don't look right, send it anyway. I make this for you. Send it anyway. Give a fuck. Real nigga podcast. For all the people who ain't never had shit, but you got a little bit now. Yeah. Chico V. Yeah. DC Young Fly. Yeah. This the 85 South Show. Yes, indeed, baby. This the 85 South Show. What's happening What's happening there? What's happening there? What's happening there? Way, yeah, yeah, yeah. Ooh, oh, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. I want to court. Shut your goddamn ass up. Shut your motherfucking ass up. I want to invite everybody out to Big San Presents Raw. Working on a morning show that will come to you every goddamn morning by yourself. I mean, by, my, by myself, by yours truly, me, the goddamn host, Big Sam, a.k.a. Sexual Chocolate. Every single woman's dream, every married woman's fantasy. Shut your goddamn ass up! Shut your motherfucking ass up, nigga! And my guest, with this extra schmedium shirt on, (laughs) and them goddamn pecan-sized nipples, nigga. (laughs) Nigga, why your nipples look like pecans, nigga? He gonna be my guest on my show, Big Sam Presents Raw. Shut your ass up. Introduce yourself looking like Jiminy Cricket, nigga. Darkness is in the building. My darkness. Here come goddamn dark chocolate. My name. Why am I holding this mic to you, motherfucker? Hold this mic yourself, nigga. Give me my goddamn microphone. Who is you? Donald. That's it. And we ain't talking about Donald J. Trump. <laughs> yeah, we're just testing out our stuff. We were trying to see if uh, if I can uh, live stream on Facebook and YouTube simultaneously, as well as Instagram. So we're gonna do a uh, we're gonna start going live tomorrow morning, um, and uh, just talk about shit. You know, we just two musicians. Uh, we come from two different walks. He's a fucking Christian. <gasps> Oh shit! Boom! I, I need a special effects and shit. Why are you obsessed with my shirt? I'm not obsessed with your shirt. It's just winter. This is Grove Town. This is not Atlanta, Georgia. Keep that gay shit up there. Now, like I was saying, shut your goddamn ass up! He's a Christian. And I'm a heathen. What is all of this dandruff all over your damn shirt, you nasty ass nigga? Clean true. your nasty ass hurrah. That's not true. You talking all this shit about me, but you got a sandbox. I just got a haircut. From... I just got a haircut. You know what I'm saying? Like, this is, this is like beard hair. You lying. You ain't just getting no haircut. You been sitting in my house for an hour. How you just got a haircut? It took you an hour to set the camera. So how you just got a haircut? Do you know what just means? Do we need to Google the word just, J-U-S-T? So is an hour recently? No, you lying ass motherfucker. Because before you was at my house, you was at the damn church. Did you get a haircut at the church? No. 
caught his ass in the lie. This is how you got to treat these goddamn Christians. You motherfuckers be lying too goddamn much. Oh, you need to talk? Shut up. Shut up. Shut your ass up. Here you go. You can talk. What about- it doesn't matter, motherfucker. <laughs> anyway, you know what I'm saying? Like I said, this is a test run. I tried to get him to iron his shirt before we started, but he was like, no. Ain't nobody going to see the wrinkles. But as you can see, it's wrinkled. Yes, it is. Stop doing that. You're making it weird. Yeah, you're making it weird. Anyway. Uh, <laughs> what? I'm a fat ass nigga. God damn, I got some money for the thing. You're not fat. You're not fat. You're just out of I shape. I lost all this weight and I got all this flappy ass skin and shit. He, he ain't fat. You're just out I of shape. I made myself a raw house, nigga. Oh, shit. <laughs> you need a bra. Give me that. Uh, did this nigga just say I needed a fucking bra? You ugly ass spot of darkness. <laughs> All right, no, for real though. We just two homies from Grovetown, Georgia. Well, I'm from Grovetown, Georgia. This motherfucker, you ask him, where you from, motherfucker? Chicago. You was a fucking Chicago live motherfucker. Ain't nobody in Chicago claiming your ass. Shut your goddamn ass up. Where you from, nigga? Also, I'm from Memphis. This, hold on. This nigga from the South and the Midwest and from the North. Where is you from? Also, <laughs> Arkansas. I'm going to run a little bit. Just a, just a little. We going to start up a prayer line. We going to have people call in. We going to Pray for Donna. Why is my blunt out? You goddamn right I said my blunt. Shit. Look here, motherfucker. Drugs are good. As long as you smoke weed, you ain't got no problem. Don't be like them goddamn crackers out there be smoking meth and crack and all this weird shit. I wish I could. I can't smoke about my house right now. It's such a habit that I just think that I'm smoking. Like I just inhale some shit and I ain't even got this shit lit. <laughs> and I just oh, exhale. Yeah, nigga, this purple kush, bro. <laughs> what you talking about? Oh, shit, you a Christian. Y'all ain't supposed to be, y'all ain't supposed to be around these drugs. This is the boy named Bush. Come on, somebody that Moses talked about. Who you on the phone with? You calling up Jesus? Jesus, on the main line. Tell him what you want. Oh. Who you calling? Oh, you texting your side girl? <laughs> hey, if you Donald's main woman, <laughs> he is in my house texting his side woman right the fuck now. <laughs> Don't salt it. Hold on. He is from Chicago. Who the hell is uh Jason Andrews? God damn it. I don't know. Man, anyway, whatever. So, we just go, we're gonna let Donald have the mic because he got some shit he need to get off his chest. You want to keep talking about my wrinkled shirt, so here you go. Huh? Go, <laughs> oh, man, you probably rubbing your booty cheek with this mic. Anyway. Also, goddamn disrespectful, motherfucker. Now anyway. go ahead and talk. You what you, what you want to talk about? What you want me to talk about? You got the show. Well, anyway, like I, I said, this like this his show. I don't know what he did with this mic. Give my goddamn microphone. This is Big Sam Presents Raw. We are two musicians in Grovetown, Georgia, and every morning we're going to come up on this motherfucker and kick it and talk shit. And if you don't like it, fuck you, motherfucker! For the people with actual vocabulary, we're going to talk about maybe... Wait, wait, wait. With maybe actual not, ver- vocabularies? Maybe not, maybe not. Did you mean to say with people with actual vernaculars? Oh! No, I really dropped the mic just there. Tomorrow we're gonna try to find him a microphone. 
broke ass nigga. How you a singer and you ain't got no goddamn microphone? I'm not a singer. I'm not so what is you? What is you? Bro? What is you, motherfucker? I'm me. This shit feel gay as fuck. Holding this microphone to another grown ass man mouth. You ain't got your own mic stand. You gotta <laughs> this shit feel weird. I can put this microphone in your mouth, nigga. To help you hold the mic. Yeah, you don't put that goddamn. You don't sit your motherfucking. Uh, don't he look like an extra on one condo? Oh, goddamn black man. <laughs> yo ass, you finna be in all the Marvel movies as an extra. <laughs> you gonna be the nigga in the in the goddamn village that be asking for food? Can I have some? Can help a brother out? Come on, brother. Brother, can, can I have? Can I have a gig? I can play my keyboard for you. I only play your two keys. You gonna be one of the people that get killed real fast, like. Somebody just come up and get hit. In my scenario, I'm showing you love by trying to get you a gig. In your scenario, you killing me off. What kind of? Oh, that's that Chicago, Memphis, Arkansas shit. That's how y'all niggas get down? Y'all claiming this motherfucker. What is you worried about my complexion for, Donald? You're supposed to be talking about stuff about the show. Put my mic in your motherfucking mouth and talk, nigga. That's the, one of the gayest things I ever heard. But you doing it, motherfucker? No, I'm not. <laughs> All right, goddammit. Every morning. Somebody tell this dude to iron his shirt next time he come on this video. Why is you upset? This is a test video. You know what I'm saying? So he just threw something off. You know what I'm saying? I did too. But hey, I need a sponsorship. I will wear a man's bra for a goddamn sponsorship. To cover up my nipple, this is my right nipple. You see how my goddamn side boob is drooping all down right there? I got to lift my shit up. But you know what, though? I'll tell you what. Hold on. Terry Crews, ain't got shit on me, nigga. Hold on. That's motherfucker. Fuck you, nigga. Don't be body shaming me. God damn it. I represent all the fat niggas in America. We sexy and fat. Love my goddamn fat motherfuckers. I have no, I have no part. And anything he just said for the past 20 seconds. So, look, you know what I'm saying? Y'all. All right, shut the hell up. Let's calm the fuck down. For real, though. Every morning, y'all can tune in to Big Sam Presents Raw. Just two musicians going and kick it. Hopefully, we get some other musicians involved. You know, I live in the CSRA where everybody is scary as a motherfucker. They'll talk shit about your ass, but they ain't going to do shit with you, goddammit. They won't work with you. What they'll do is. They'll watch it and see if you blow up. And then if you blow up, then they say, I knew you was going to make it the whole time. I've been riding with you since day one. Shut your goddamn local Augusta ass up, motherfucker. Motherfucker, I don't know. <laughs> Coastal Savannah River area. This is pure entertainment, all right? Don't take this shit personal, goddammit. This is bullshit, escapism. In entertainment, all right? I kind of got Tourette's. Now I'm hot. <sighs> See, that's his only fucking joke, y'all. No, I mean, it's not, it's not, but that's obvious, yeah, though. Yeah, no, uh, don't be too long with that. Uh, but yeah, you know, I got to I gotta do something a little cliche. I just want to send a shout out. What's up, Dad? You know, uh, Treese, what's up? Uh, Jason, appreciate the love. You know? Yeah. Um, That's what's up, Jason. Let me give a shout out to all the single women in Donald's family. Huh? Damn, I'm disrespectful. No, not in my Hit my DM. If you single and you related to Donald and, you know how to iron and you're a woman, hit my DM. Because if you're good enough, I might respond. Oh, shit. Anyway, I'm telling you now, if you call this dude, we're going to have a problem. Anyway, y'all be safe. Till next time, God damn it. We'll be back tomorrow morning. Big Sam presents. Roll, motherfucker. Roll I'll make this for you. It's Big Sam presents Roll. Hi. Would you like to sponsor this show? You have the ability to sponsor Big Sam presents Raw and or shit talk. I don't give a goddamn. You could pay me $100 a month or $50 a week or $250 every two weeks. Regardless, it don't even matter. 
If you want to sponsor this show, you can. Let me know. I'm Big Sam, and you got the opportunity to sponsor this show. This show, goddammit, this one. Are you not entertained? Fuck you, because I wasn't trying to entertain you. Bye, bitches. His coming was foretold. Tune in every Saturday to Thoughts by DeVille DIY, where you will get that growing up DeVille DIY. I'm telling you my life story. You can also tune in Monday through Friday, 7 a.m., and you can get you some morning discipline. By the way, you listen to that boy, Big Sam. I make this for you. Actually, I don't even know where I'm at. I don't know name of this place, but I'm about to get a manicure here in a few moments. Try to get my nails did, my claws. So we're gonna see what happens in a little while. I'm going to walk and talk to you What's up, folks? I'm back. I'm in the back now. And um, I have been subjected to endure Christian music as I get my nails did in this dark room. Who are you, baby, Sam? I'll be a lot better if you stop yelling at me. I'm not yelling at you. This is stuff down. Sarah, is your nail driving? Wait, Satan. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sarah, is your nail driving? Oh, you got better. There you go. Come on, somebody. Yes, Lord. Thank you. <laughs> And then we're about to go into worship in the uh, nail stove. Praise the Lord. This is worship right here. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. What brought you in for services today? I'm trying to get a manicure. Outstanding. So, um, what kind of salon services have you enjoyed in the past? I haven't. It's a matter of do you play sports? Do any crafts or anything? It's my cheat sheet. Stop. I'm in training. Yep. Hi. <laughs> uh, okay. Um, what shape or length do you like to wear? Of your nails? Long enough to scratch my back. And your skin type is a dry, oily combination. Sex with chocolate. <laughs> so, do you have a color of polish in mind? No. You just want a, like a top coat and a base? Natural sexiness. That's it. What type of um, pressure do, would you prefer? On no, that says what type of massage pressure is preferred. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh. This is my teacher, my instructor. This is my instructor, Miss Jenkins. Big what type of massage pressure is preferred? Gentle, moderate, or firm? Pleasurable. Okay, so um, do you have any special concerns to discuss? Why are you looking at my cheat sheet? Because you was looking at me. I'm in training. I am too. How 
often do you plan to come back for services to get your nails maintained? I didn't plan on it. You don't plan on it at all? I, I said I didn't. You didn't? I was just going to take it one step at a time and see how this went. Okay. I like that. Before you put your glove on, you might want to put your Christian music on. Come on. It's special. I'm what? It's special. Yeah, I am special. So, this is what it's like to get a manicure. It really ain't nothing. By the queen. Okay, back to me. <laughs> See, you pay attention to me. I'm the most important person you will ever meet in your life. Do you understand <laughs> that? Thank you very much. Now, I'll show you men that you can get a manicure and keep your man here. So I'm going to examine your hands and look for any um, diseases or nail deformities. Or you have to, like, part of your class is you have to tell me what you're doing? Yeah. Wow. So you know what I'm doing. Uh, so are you a doctor? Huh? Well, anatomy is a part of our class. So we have to learn the parts of the hand, like the bones. All right, so everything looks good. Of course. It's part of my body. How else would it look? <laughs> All right, so then. You mind if I change that? Oh. Oh. Like, I, mean, I don't know how to. Don't like put your my phone. phone in the water. No, I'm not. That's where I am. No, I'm not your phone. Oh. Thank you, because that was driving me crazy. <laughs> now she didn't do it for me. Now she didn't do it for me. I'm a preacher. I'm a preacher. I don't listen to that garbage. Come on, somebody. I make this for you. That's the Lord. I heard a run. Who, who did that run? What? Oh, oh, let me find out. Let me find out. <laughs> Big Sound presents. Everything I do is wrong. Okay. So, what do you consider wrong? Okay. Raw. It's just that. It. No protection. Organic. Natural. All natural. Can't get no good than that. Absolutely can't. See, everything in life, everything in life is about sex. What's the point of having sex? That's protected. We miss out on all the sensual feelings. So that's why we keep it raw and organic. You do know that his kids and his family. I don't give a crap about it. <laughs> <laughs> that's how them children came into the world. Come on, somebody. If we're going to tell it like a TIU, they didn't come in here through osmosis. Amen. Bless the Lord. Come on, stroke it. Stroke it. There you go. Come on. Stroke the whole thing. Yeah. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. Come on now. Bless the Lord. Oh, my soul. Come on now. <laughs> oh man. There you go. You a man. There you go. Huh? No, I'm getting my healing right now. Come on, she laying hands on me. Bless the Lord. Hey Amen. Make me feel good. Let me talk to you fellas for a minute. You gotta find your woman and know how to stroke 
caress, massage, and work all of your meat. Come on, tell me about it. Tenderize it. There you go. See, I'm a drummer. And I need my fingers and my hands. Nice and relaxed. I know. Jam my knuckle now. <laughs> But I always have fun and talk shit. And see, we ain't come here for you to be singing. But we came here for the manicure. Come on. Let the praise team do the singing. Amen. You do the ministry on this. See, this is why I don't wear no gloves. Because no matter how big my hair is, I always bust the gloves when I get to working. <laughs> <laughs> I make this for you. I'm the first line of that. Oh, for real. I'm so serious right now. I'm gonna put you out. Oh, man. So I just ain't hiding this man. Kids, do as much drugs as you can. As long as it's weed, nothing else. I make this for you. Somebody. Woo! Hey, glory! Until I feel some flowery substance, you know that the weed man need to hit me back. Ah! I'm almost out. Ooh, he said, I need to get high. for you see 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 that's the shit right there that will fuck up my ability to worship the lord i want to praise god while i worship too <laughs> what in the total fuck was that shit right there i ain't paying you to be fucking up my goddamn church service get that shit together drummer uh, 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 yes, sir, Brother Preacher. Um, um, uh, well, you know, well, you know, um, I mean, I can't, uh, well, you know, uh, see, see, you know, I had to go out of town, so, you know, I really couldn't really practice, like, you know, but, you know, I mean, this ain't really my drum set, so I, you know what I'm saying, I ain't really comfortable on this kit. I mean, but I ain't even bring my pedal, though, so, you know, 
this pedal got a whole nother feel. So, you know what I'm saying? I'm just trying to get, I mean, but this is my first time even playing with y'all. So I'm still trying to, you know, get in touch with the spirit of this place. I mean, but you ain't even give me the song. So I really didn't know what we was doing. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I'm just saying I ain't really played in a long time. So, you know, you know, you, you know, you, I thought this was like a come as you are type situation. You know what I'm saying? I ain't know you was wanting some perfection and stuff like Shut up, motherfucker! You ain't making no damn sense. You accepted the, 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 the job. Take a tith, your ass a tith, over to it, that kick drum snare and hi-hat, and get a tith, your shit a tith, together. Five, six, seven, eight. All right, you have tuned in to Golden Sam, and y'all, it's Touchy Tuesday. So y'all know what that means. We about to get into some shh. Sam, how you doing today? Get into some what? Shh. Um, I'm cool like the other side of the pillow. Oh, don't you sound cool like the other side of the pillow. Yeah. Well, we're going to talk about y'all what sex is and what sex <coughs> is not today, okay? And we just <coughs> want to go ahead and put it out there, you know. Sam, you just go ahead and tell me. What do you think? sex is and what do you think sex is not hmm. sex is so many things it's a very very physical act of what am I trying to say energetic exchange um, hmm. emotional exchange hmm. um, it's also a physical expression of a person's appreciation, gratitude, or whatever for another person. Words do a lot, but it's something when you have a memory to associate to, to always reflect on. So to that person? You no, know, for whatever your you know, whatever your feeling is. Mm-hmm. So the act gives you a memory. Like when you think about sex with whoever that person is, mm-hmm. there's a memory, and then you start having feelings about it, right? So okay. that's what all that shit is. So, but what is it not then? Because I, I see what it is for you. What is it not for you? Mm. For me, what is it not? Damn, that's a good question. <laughs> what is it not? What is it not? It should be not control. It, it, it. Oh man, dang! What is it not? Mm, 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 mm. Man, I'm not sure. I don't know how to answer that question. Really? I really don't know. What <laughs> sex is not? I don't know. Oh, uh, can I answer it for yeah, you real quick? Do. Yeah. Sex is not me having sex with a man. <laughs> Cause you're a man, so I think like that's not sex for me. Me having sex with another man. That's not sex. I'm not doing that. I know that's I what came. That. That's what came to my mind. Like sex is not me having sex with another man because you're a man and you're not gay. So you be talking about what sex is not. So it definitely is not ever going to be that. <laughs> that's what my mind came. Over I don't with. understand. So you're never. Go- you never have sex with a I'm man? talking about for you, like what sex is oh, not for you. Oh, if you, you ask it for me. <laughs> yeah. Oh, damn, man. Look here, man. Look, you talking about a warp? Wow. So sex is also mental. Yeah. Like what you just did, you just did a mental mind fuck. <laughs> no, All I right? did That not. was a mind fuck. So sex is mental and physical, <laughs> God damn it. We just established that. Now, what sex isn't. I don't. I still don't know what sex is. I, I wouldn't have sex with no dude. You can't pay me to have sex. So with no sex dude. for you is definitely not sex with a man. That's yeah. not on the. There menu ain't no of other sex. man. That sex with me don't include no man. Period. Right. In no shape, form, except or for you. I'm the only alpha. The I am the beginning and the end. Okay. There is no between. We got it. We Amen. got it. We Praise got the Lord. it. Yes. Come on, somebody. However, so. I'm going to change this real quick because I think I did the wrong timer. Like, your timer, you have an actual timer. That's, I don't know what I was doing over here. I don't know what that was. So, but it's cool. I stopped it before it could make a sound or interrupt cool. our flow. It's cool. <laughs> so, okay. So but what for is me, sex to you? Sex, for me, is fun. It's a time to, like, 
play as an adult. Hmm. To me, sex is like, it's two things. It's playtime for adults, and it is a way to make another human being. That's what sex is to me. Fun time and reproduction time. Hmm. And... The good thing about that is you could be having reproduction time and still have fun. But you can have, like, fun time and not be on no reproduction. So I like the options aspect as well. So for me, sex, to me, I guess, means on some level that buffet of life thing. Like, you, there's <coughs> options. Sex is, sex is, like, I don't know. It's like an energy play, you know? Because everyone has all these different roles that they fill in their life. And then when you engage with them with sex and all the roles. It's like there's this thing happening that's so active. And that's why I guess it's fun for me. Cause, and it does include the body usually. Even if you're just laying there. So if it's fun. Mm-hmm. How, hmm, is there no emotion involved in it? It's not happy and emotion. I'm asking you a question. I'm <laughs> don't, 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 try to, don't try to divert. No, 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 no. no. Stick with the goddamn question now. Come on. Now. Okay, okay. Come on now. You ain't finna be playing these mind tricks with me now, damn it. Come on now. Wow. Okay, 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 okay. Um, repeat the question. See, look at you. Wow. That's what's up. This is gold, y'all. This is straight gold. Oh. Um, Okay. Is there no emotion involved in it? Yes, in there's sex? a lot of emotion. So how can you have fun with a person that... How can you have fun with a person's emotions? Because you're happy. Like, for me, that's why I said uh, sex for me, for me now, is yeah, adult play. And when play. you play, you happy. You have a joy. You have a fun. You're doing stuff. You're in it. You know, you, you know you're saying? you like, you like, if you're jumping rope, you jump, you breathe hard. So it's like a, just like a, 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 a an activity like basketball. Yes. Damn. <laughs> what? What? <laughs> oh, God. It's Damn, an activity, so... but what? wait, no way. <laughs> That's what's up. That's. I mean, shit. Like, oh, what you finna do? Go have sex. Oh, yes, yeah, yes, yeah. yes. But well, we about to go to church. I mean, <laughs> shit. I mean, God. Damn. <laughs> this shit just an activity. I'd be like, will there be sex at church? Like, <laughs> hey, what you doing today? Oh, I'm gonna go have sex. Oh, okay. Yes, I am very much into like saying that and, and normalizing that. Like, I say that about having sex with myself, and people are like, oh, TMI. But it's like, I'm happy to do it. Like, I just want to share the joy that is the information. I mean, just through osmosis, the joy I feel for what I'm about to go do. <laughs> just want you to experience some of that, you know, goodness, like, you know, joy, that happiness. That funness. Just like you say, girl, I'm about to go to the park. Girl, I'm about to go to the water park. I'm about to go to Six Flags, you know? How how That's how, how are it is. you so confident that the other person is gonna have this joy that you are selling on this podcast? I mean, I I'm not in charge of how they feel. That's a personal choice. That's up to them how they feel about sex. I can't take responsibility for that. So I, but I know what it is for me. They will have to figure out what it is for them and what it's not for them. But I like that we're talking about it because maybe they never asked themselves this question. And that helps define who you are, you know, at least at whatever point you are in your life. So maybe it's an important question for some people to ask. Don't, like, that makes me happy we're talking about this shit. <clears throat> Why? Because, like, it may help someone who doesn't know what sex is for them or is not but they're doing it that's dangerous especially based on what oh, your mean so is. if you know what sex is for you the more that you understand sex as it relates to you yeah then the more intentional yeah exactly Damn, that makes sense Bing, that shit makes, Bing, 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 Bing. Shit makes sense right which is why i'm totally unbothered by not the whole bill but just parts of the bill and i think all the women know what i mean by the bill you know, <laughs> the the bill, but the whole you know, in states, certain states now, like after certain, I think it's the heartbeat bill. I think that's what it's called actually. And it's like if the fetus has a heartbeat, then you cannot have the abortion. And then there's some other things going on in that bill, like things that about miscarriage and you're gonna die if you do. It. Like maybe I'm being dramatic, but the point is, 
you know, a lot of people see that as someone trying to regulate women's bodies, which is exactly what's happening. But what else you think is going to happen if you don't regulate it for yourself? So, but that's a whole other tangent. Hmm. So we're talking about what sex is. It's not. And for me, it's reproduction, which is, I guess, why that would come up. You know, if you're going to do it to reproduce. So what is it not? It is not. It is not not fun. That's what sex is. That's not not fun. Uh, okay, so what sex is not for me? Sex is not. Uh, my mind went to. It is not routine. <laughs> it is not obligatory. It is not. Unless you're into that sort of thing, you know. But to me, it's not something you should have to do if you don't want to do it. It's not a chore. It's supposed to be good and fun and necessary if we're talking reproduction. So if it's not, so to me, if it's not necessary, I mean, there ain't no babies coming from it that we want. And it's clearly not going to be a fun thing that we can enjoy and be like, I'm going to Six Flags about. Why are we doing it? That's what's up. Is there any love? Is there any, so, so there's. What the fuck? I don't know. Shit. <laughs> Wait, is what there are you any saying? love emotional connection to sex? Emotion- How the fuck? Okay, can you make oh. love? Of course, love is. Some- don't you love okay. to like do something active? It's the same thing. So, what is love making? Sh- what is the difference between love making and sex? Is there a difference between love making and sex? I would say there is. Or is that a different oh, podcast? Far- <laughs> it could be a different podcast, but just to touch it, like we're talking about. To me, we're talking about sex as a function, what it is and what it is not based on individuals if we're saying but we didn't say what love making is and so it's it's the same it meaning love making contains sex but sex might not contain love making <laughs> that's dope ah you think you got a little swag <laughs> <laughs> you think you got a little swag <laughs> whatever <laughs> You asked the question. That's dope. That's that's dope. I I respect that. That's uh that resonated. That's what's okay. Up. Okay, you know I be resonating and stuff. I do that. I do that. <laughs> <laughs> wow, it has been a very very interesting afternoon to say the least. Life is great. That's true. This is true. I I had a great day as well. It was one of those days where you're like, everything is kind of like fitting together. And I'm here for it. It's effortless as fuck. And it's satisfying. So So then, now, let's talk about mental sex. Okay. What meant? But that's, okay, so what is mental sex and what is not mental sex? Because... Oh it's, no 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 no! It's no, all no, mental no, no. sex. Not, not not so much what is and what isn't, because yeah, you're right about that. I think everything in it's place. merging. Yeah. Sex is merging. Things coming together. So, but as relates to mental sex, mm-hmm. how does I mean, one, we both was like yes. <laughs> <laughs> how does one? How do? How do you? How do you separate the emotion? Because from you don't. You sex. just have to be a professional and know what the fuck you're doing. I don't know if we can say that on here. Maybe you can beat that out in the motherfucker goddamn shit, (laughs) bitch, pussy. Hopefully uh, your children are not around. All them damn goddamn words. Shout out my name, bitch. Sam. Shout out. Lord, huh? And I am Gold Stacy, and I am a professional <clears throat> creative project manager, and I take entertainment industries from chaos to their order, so I don't curse on my podcast like that. My name is motherfucking oh God, Big Sam, a.k.a. Sexual Chocolate. It slipped out, you guys. It and slipped that out. shit didn't slip out. I am the host so of Big Sam So now we're probably having some really raw. dirty mental... This is really dirty. This is smutty. Huh? This is very smutty. Podcast. Oh, my God, you guys. Your children should not probably be in the room. How can we talk about sex without cursing? That doesn't make any sense. We can, but we're also doing a podcast. My, like... What are you talking about? So, there is no restrictions. So why are you putting restrictions on this? Because I like a little. I bit didn't of know being, that this was going to be I a like PG a little, conversation. I like a little tied upness. I enjoy it. <laughs> <laughs> Mental <laughs> fuck. <laughs> she ain't gonna cuss. I'm gonna cuss. That's fine. And I ain't bleeping out nothing. Well, sometimes I might slip up. You know, lady is as a lady does. You know, no one's perfect. Wow. So, um, 
<laughs> I, I don't know what the hell just transpired. <laughs> but I tell you what, we appreciate y'all tuning in to this very, very first episode of goddamn relationships. <laughs> Come on, sponsor. Let's and get the sponsor going. Sex. Oh, Lord. Thank you guys for tuning in. I make segment. this for okay. you. Here's our sponsor. I would have. Uh, Hi, would you like to sponsor this show? You have the ability to sponsor Big Sam Presents Raw and or Shit Talk. I don't give a goddamn. You could pay me $100 a month or $50 a week or $250 every two weeks. Regardless. It don't even matter. If you want to sponsor this show, you can. Let me know. I'm Big Sam, and you got the opportunity to sponsor this show. This show, goddammit. This one. Are you not entertained? Fuck you, because I wasn't trying to entertain you. Bye, bitches. What up, folks? We back. It's your homie, Big Sam. And it's Go Stacy, y'all. <clears throat> it's Go to Sam. Okay, so we were talking about, right after before the break, we were talking about what sex is and what sex is not. And we were basically having, well, you guys was there, you know. He was over here being dirty-mouthed. And I was maintaining my composure. <laughs> Why are you making that face? Wow, because right before we came on, <laughs> yeah. you said, are you going to bring us in? And then you, but you know what? We was talking about mental sex and shit, mental fucks. And you said you like to be restrained and shit like that. And it just, I just was like thinking, you seem like the type of person that like to be in control of every goddamn thing. And I, I, is that a factual assessment or assumption? I would say that's a very factual assessment of someone who's totally out of control or who doesn't have much control over themselves. What the fuck? So shut the fuck up with that do you bullshit. Like to be in control. Yes of or myself. no? Myself. Yes. Other stuff, not really. <laughs> no. I mean, I like. I like helping out people. I guess, I guess that's why I'm in project management. I love assisting the boss. I love assisting the head person in charge. I like helping get their initiative. I like working, but I like doing what I like to do. So I have to find work that's fun for me. And then I'm going to do it so I can't do it no more. So, yeah, I love the control that comes with someone else telling me what to do. I appreciate that. But I'm very controlled with who I am. And I know what I will do. I know what my boundaries are. I know what I want. You know, a lot of women don't know what they want. And you hear that all the time. I am not one of those women. I know exactly what I want. So what do you want sexually? Sexually, I want to be able to have fun with you. I want us to be able to push each other's boundaries safely. I want us to be able to do it in weird and exotic places. I want us to, um, or even me, because I believe in self-engaging um, I just, I just want to be dynamic and good like all the time. Cause that's what it is all the time. What was define what is good? Good? Yeah. Define what good is. You said you want to be good all the time. So what is good? Satisfied. Thoroughly satisfied. Like, so what does after, that mean? I mean, I want a sandwich. You or the other person? Definitely me. Mm. But I'm in charge of that. So what do you think? Uh, mm. Cause you so why didn't you just say I want to be satisfied all the time versus saying I want to be good? Good and satisfied is like the same thing we're talking about sex. Like, that oh. was good. Man, I was satisfied. Like, you know, maybe satisfaction is a little bit better than good. I don't, yeah, it might be. Oh, okay. Cool. I misunderstood that. Wow. So, you want to be dynamic and exotic and random and just. Mm hmm. Almost... But controlled a little bit. Still, there's this control element, meaning. We might have to plan some of this out, you know. It, I don't like to be honest. I'm not the most spontaneous person. I know that my schedule, as it goes, you have to things got to line up, and then I'm also very like in tune with my surroundings, nature, you know, blah blah. You know that whole thing. So you keep saying you know that whole thing. 
I suppose people the people who know know that. Some of and them I know. don't know that. You, I'm trying to get to know you. I'm being as patient as I possibly can. <laughs> I might have to start calling on baby Jesus. <laughs> Woo! I try. Oh, help me, help I call me, on help Asian me. Jesus. I sincerely I try. I call on Buddha, Black Jesus, <laughs> Korean Jesus, all of them damn Jesuses. Um, Sex Jesus. <laughs> where you at, God damn it? <laughs> Bring your ass out here, motherfucker. <laughs> oh, gosh. Okay, um... What was the question? Again? I don't even know. <laughs> but I appreciate that little mental orgasm that just happened real quick. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Was it satisfying or was it good? Organic is the best way. It was needed. <laughs> it was needed. Best. Okay. <laughs> I can feel that. I can feel that. Come on, somebody. Are they conscious of their mental orgasms as well as do they, you know, how many men like can really differentiate between a nut and an orgasm? Mm-hmm. And what do you prefer more often? Now, naturally, by habit, you would say nut because that's what the fuck you are. Hmm. The first conscious to is a nut versus the orgasm. It mm-hmm. takes a while before you get that. So, you know, but... Why keep saying you know? I don't know. Anyway, there we go. <laughs> All right. So, what would you prefer more of? And no, I don't want to answer this question because I'm I'm just now thinking of it. Like I have to process that shit. Because you're a man, you ask the men that question, so yeah. you ask it to yourself as well. Yeah. Yeah. Be wondering about that stuff. And why is it so damn embarrassing or? Uh, why is there a lot of insecurities in the room amongst men and women when they're both in the room when it comes to sexual conversations? There's so many reasons why. I think that's such an open... If you're just talking about men and women in a room and as we're saying what sex is and sex is not and why there's all this, like you say, tension, awkwardness, like insecurity, energy... And I think it has so much to do with religious programming. It has so much to do with what we're told about sex, the other sex. You know, if you're being told all the time, women are emotional, 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 and you are just trying to get a nut, you're not really inclined to talk to the other sex, no matter how fine she is, because you just want a nut. You don't want to get into the emotions thing. Or even the opposite. You know, a girl might want to just get a nut, but because... Boys think that girls are more emotional. She, you know, it's it's not going as planned. You know, it's coming with all these. Now people are calling her a whore, and because she's moving a certain kind. Like it just, we just handle each other in ways that are not kind and not compassionate, and not even very. Um, I don't know, just not very kind. Not very. We're not very good to one another, generally, collectively <laughs> speaking. Yeah. There's goodness there. It's happening. Well, well, the whole ain't doing it. I'm so cut from a different cloth. I don't know. I just. Well, I guess that's it's, why we're Golden Sam, huh? Yeah. That is the truth. So, like, separating emotion from sex, it's just, I just don't see how. Even when I, um, in the past, when I've gotten a prostitute, mm-hmm. well, excuse me, in I... the moment of there, I farted. That's what happened. <laughs> She's just trying to be very, very late in life. such a gentleman, y'all. But I don't mind I telling you, you I farted, <laughs> and it felt good, <laughs> god damn it. Come on, I make this goes. for you. what you were saying. <laughs> <laughs> I have, in the past, I've tried uh, a prostitute, and while I was fucking her, I thought to myself, damn, I really don't give a fuck about you. Mm. And that's not really cool. Hmm. Well, like, I mean, that was some too weird, But you paid weird, her, different... so why did you have to care about her? And I'm saying that as a just silent observer. I understand it was a service. Yeah, it's now, I understand it was a service. Oh, now, I didn't then. think of it, I didn't necessarily think of it as a service. I kind of thought like, no, actually, That's her profession. Now that I, now actually, that now that I process it even more, for some strange reason, I thought I can fuck her like real good, and she'd be like, "Save me." 
<laughs> I got this weird protector Captain Saber Captain I'm Saber sorry. woman type complex about me. I, I like I, I'm laugh, thinking y'all. about this shit because I really haven't even processed that shit in a long time. Mm. Wow, that's what's up. God damn. I May I ask issues. how old you were when you did this? Like. Well, there's really no point of asking, may I ask the questions. You should just ask the questions. So, How old were you? I don't really know because I was a, I don't know. I was in the military. Um, I was in, um, I was in Fort Campbell. So I only I asked that early for your 20s. earning potential, meaning when you saved her, were you going to save her from all that money she was making from doing what she was doing? Like, no, nah, I was going <laughs> to save her from having to be a hoe. But maybe she liked what she did. Yeah, but see, at again, again, you wasn't. I was very like emotional. That. Sex to me, I have always been taught sex is a very emotional thing. Oh, it's did like, you like if her? you care, you you do it because you care about something. Right. No, I didn't necessarily. I didn't know the motherfucker. <laughs> but while I was beating, I was like, I want to get to say know this you. Motherfucker. Yeah, I need to love you because I'm an emotional guy. Like I'm, I'm, I'm. That is I'm absolutely an emotional funny. But I'm not dude. laughing at you. That's really a great story. I'm. I ain't like nobody wow. else. I can only speak for myself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I agree with you, actually. I don't see why we separate love from sex, which is why I like to have sex with people I love. If I don't love you, I... So I don't have one night stands. Because, I mean, if I just met you at the club, I don't care how we're vibing. I don't care how printed you got while we were dancing or whatever the hell happens in that atmosphere. How what printed? You know, men print in their pants, like when they get aroused. Print? Print. Like, you see the print. It's pressing through the material. Oh, shit. They're printing. I, I don't be goddamn looking through the club. Well, you all look at Men printing like and shit. I don't be looking at that shit, so keep going. But you know when you printing... <laughs> I never even heard a term, but yeah, you're right. Go ahead. Right. Can we change the subject? (laughs) No, I'm not changing the subject, but can you get back to your subject? Right. (laughs) So, wait, what was the question again? (laughs) (laughs) I hope this is not a thing now. now. I don't know, because you done fucked me up. Talk about men printing. Well, you know when you printed that one goddamn. Let me get back to this. Okay, okay. I mean, I agree with you that love, I don't have, I don't meet people randomly and be like, not saying it's never happened, but if I told people right now how many times it has happened, it's less than three, and that's and I'm 38. So in my whole life of having sex, which I enjoy doing, I've been having it since I was like, I want to say 16. So it's like the sex I was having. We, you know what? That's not what we're talking about. The point is that. I know I like love and sex to be together. And if it's not together, I have no motivation to have sex with you. So I agree with you. And I don't see how people are doing it completely without the emotion. But that's their sex and they're allowed to have it the way they want to have it. So I don't really think about it too long. I just, when I hear it about it, I'm like, oh, wow, that's, I've tried it. But, you know, it just don't, you know. And usually it's someone that I kind of like really, the the. Two times it happened, I was, like, really enamored with the person. Like, oh, my God. They're, like, so perfect. I love them. And it's, like, right place, right time. It just happened. But I love them. And then afterward, when they would either contact me or whatever, I'd be like, mm, I mean, I like them. They're cool. But, you know. And I realized, so oh, my God. So did the sex make the dynamic different? No. it was. St- I was expressing the love that I felt with them on site. Like, and it just happened to be in a moment where we could, like, really engage within either a few hours of that meeting or that same evening or whatever. So something like that. I mean, a one night stand, it was like within the same meet. Like we met and we kept meeting and we kept like, oh my God, oh my God. Oh my. And then like, well, I have a room or let's go to my spot. It's like, okay. And then it happened. And then it was like, yeah. And then I like left immediately after. I remember that both times. Like, okay, so that was great. Going home, doing thing. Hmm. But then when I got home and thought about it, I was like, oh my God, those are one night stands. So I can relate to why people do it, but when you hear them talk about it, they don't even say what I said, which is, oh, I like kind of love them right then in that moment. You know what I'm saying? Which allowed me to have that act with them. Other than so that. what the hell is love? Love is like... I'm so fucking confused, love is, but it really love don't even is matter. Love is a force. That shit was a spider web of a shit storm of I don't know what the service fuck. Service or worship or, or appreciation, thankfulness for whatever... It, the object of love is. Love don't love nobody. It's a force now. I move through you. It ain't something you can... I don't think you can catch it. I think you can just experience it and then share the experience of experiencing it with someone else. So does love have no commitment? Hell no. It's exciting about love. If you're asking me. 
Who else I'm asking, motherfucker? So how can you love sex if it don't have a commitment? Because you're not doing, you're not committed to doing sex 24 hours a day. I mean, let's just your job. You got to really love sex. I make this for you. To doing it like it's how you're, when you're kind of, if, if I'm reading it right, what you're saying. Because I mean, like, I'm committed to sex when I'm doing it, when I'm having it, but I'm not committed to it. You guys, this conversation has been really deep. So it's like, I don't know. You guys, so basically what sex is or what sex is not really depends on the person. That's what we're discussing now. You know, we really, really want to thank you guys for tuning in. We appreciate your listenership. Come on, Sam. Say, he over here, y'all, looking cute. Tell the people bye. Bye. Like <laughs> Later, said, y'all. Controlling. Wow. Controlling. Y'all see that shit? Nah, that's cool, though, man. That's an interesting young lady. <laughs> oh, I ain't do no fucking prayer. Hold on. <clears throat> All hearts and minds are clear. All hearts and minds are clear. The heavenly and most gracious, efficacious, and consecutious, beloved, voluptuous, omnipotent, omniscient, Jehovah Jireh, Jehovah Nisi, Jehovah Honda, Jehovah Toyota. Oh, that do see. Jehovah I am. Ha. Jehovah Sherak. Ha. Jehovah Shabbat Shakur, ha! Jehovah Tupac Shakur, ha! Jehovah Shaquille O'Neal, ha! Jehovah Shalala Bobo, ha! Ali Baba, ha! Alaha Akbar, woo! We come to you, Father, ha! In the most humble way we know how, ha! In prayer.